As with any operating system, there are shortcuts in Ubuntu Desktop that can make your life easier so that you can work more efficiently and quickly. First, we'll need to talk about the super key. The super key is going to be the Windows key on a typical PC keyboard or the Command key on an Apple keyboard. Of course, it depends on whether you're using a Windows-based PC keyboard or an Apple keyboard, whether you'll have the Windows key or the Command key. It's going to be located usually next to Control and or Alt, uh, right there to the left usually of your spacebar on your keyboard. The super key is going to be used in several keyboard shortcuts that I'll show you in order to perform tasks more easily easily. The first shortcut I'll show you is how to bring up the desktop. Here you can see that we have a lot of windows open. If we just want to get back to the desktop, you can see here clicking on the desktop doesn't really shift our focus back to the desktop. These windows still stay on top even though they're not actually selected. We can use control and then the super key and D to bring up our desktop. Notice that these applications are still open. Again, on the launcher, you can see they have this little triangle arrow next to them. So they're still open, but they've shifted into the background and we can bring them back up one at a time. Now, as with other operating systems, we can take a screenshot of our entire screen. Let's say that we want to take a screenshot of this terminal window here. We'll simply select the window and then we'll hit Alt and the Print Screen button on our PC-based keyboard. If you're using an Apple keyboard, you may not have that Print Screen key available to you. It might be an F key. It might be labeled differently if you're working with an Apple keyboard. So uh, please do note that difference. You can see here a new dialog box has come up. You can see a preview of the picture we just took. We can save it to a particular location or we can simply copy it to the clipboard. If we hit copy to clipboard, we can then close this dialog box. We can open LibreOffice Writer and we can use Control V in order to paste that picture in here. Now remember, we obviously could have saved it as an image file as well. Well, that's all well and good for a single window, but what if we have multiple windows open and we want to take a picture of our entire screen? Well, let's bring up a few more windows here and say that we would like to take a picture of our entire screen. We'll click on the desktop in order to shift the focus. So we now we're not locked into a particular window. And when we hit Alt Print Screen now, you can see that our preview includes everything, including the launcher, the top bar, the desktop in the background. Everything that was visible on our screen is here in this preview. Again, we can save it to a file or we can copy it to the clipboard and paste it into whatever program we would like. Now let's move on to some other shortcuts. Every now and then something weird will happen where you may have a screen whose title bar has moved somehow off of the regular uh, viewing space. So I'm going to be getting rid of all this other stuff here. I'm going to do Control Super D, bring up the desktop. Uh, let's just experiment with the terminal window. And let's say that this somehow gets pushed off like this. Doesn't matter how it happened, let's just say it did. Well, how would you be able to move this now? You can see I can't really get to the top bar. I can't pull it down from here, it's off my screen. Simply holding the Alt key, clicking and dragging anywhere on the window will enable me to move it. And in fact, that is how I got it up here in the first place. But there are other times that dialog boxes and other windows can be pushed off the screen and you may be left scratching your head wondering how to get that title bar back so that you can close it, minimize it, or whatever the case may be. So remember, hold down the Alt key and you can click anywhere within that window, anywhere at all, and it will move even if it's shifted off the screen like so. Now, as with other operating systems, Windows in particular, we can Alt-Tab, so hold down Alt and hit Tab, and we can now continue hitting Tab to cycle through the different windows that we currently have open. You can see as I hit Tab and Tab again, it shifts to another icon and displays the name, in this case Terminal. I'll hit Tab again, LibreOffice Writer, 
Tab, Firefox web browser, and so on and so forth. You can also use your mouse. That may be a bit easier. So just hold down that Alt key and hit Tab to bring up this particular box here filled with options so you can shift through the different programs that you have open. Now, there are two other shortcuts that I'll show you, and that's not to say there are only two more shortcuts in Ubuntu, but two more that I think you will need to know and that will really help you in getting around. The first is using the super key and hitting S. This will bring up the workspace switcher. We've already talked about workspaces. This will bring up the workspace switcher, and you don't have to hit uh, and hold the super key and S. You can just hit super key S and then let go, and the switcher will be brought up here. It will stay up, and you can select a different workspace. Now hitting control S again to bring up my workspace switcher, I'll move back to workspace number one here where I have many different windows open. And just another way of viewing all of these windows that are open instead of alt tabbing, I can hit the super key and W in order to bring up this alternative view here. Now notice what this alternative view brings up. It's not going to bring up everything which is open you can see google chrome is open you can see that firefox is open but this is going to bring up every window super key w for window this will bring up all active windows so uh, if and you can see that we have this in the background here if we use control super key d to bring up the desktop and then we hit the super key and w it's not going to do anything. Uh, it's not going to do anything because we don't have any windows open. So it won't work for us. It just brings up this little box down here, which is clearly not what we want. Opening up more of these here, we can see it in action again, Super W, and now you can see all these windows which are open. And this is also a convenient way for you to close out windows that you no longer need.